foremost on my mind around gender parity is to have a really comprehensive look at it. And by that I mean looking from the highest macro level to the micro level. Um, Filipino women have a great phrase, they say to cook rice cakes you need heat at the top and heat at the bottom. When you're looking at gender parity, you're looking at the macro issues, the economic issues, the fact that if women were more fully engaged in the workforce, you'd have increase in GDP, you'd have increase in up to $27 trillion of increase uh, in the, the total GDP around the world. Then it's like the gender gap report, looking at where countries are totally, where they stand amongst their peers in the region. These are very macro and very important issues. And then you've got the issue of what I would call the diversity business case for women, which is that governance processes change when you have more women involved, when you have more women in leadership positions, that teams are more likely to be more collaborative and more effective if you have more of a balance between men and women. And then you have the micro level, which is kind of the institutional individual level which is the issues around best practices, which the Gender Parity Group has a very excellent best practices report. Uh, it includes how do institutions approach gender parity, in other words, tax policies, childcare policies, some of the unconscious bias around gender, uh, how do organizations help women in terms of their own advancement. So for me, it's a very global in nature. And as we look at the global challenges that the World Economic Forum has identified, Almost every one of those challenges has a gender component to it. You can't look at health, you can't look at economics, you can't look at the environment without looking at the role of women in all of these.